scared you? No. Guys, this is really crazy. I'm pushing this broken car. Ugh. And it's crazy. It's crazy. I've never pushed a broken car. Finally, finally, guys, finally. Hello, guys, welcome on to my YouTube channel again today. And oh, I just finished uh, tolling that car, and now I've come home. And this is among the days that we just miss to make a video where I do haven't written anything down, like. I'm gonna say this or this. This is just a video that goes with the flow. <laughs> uh, guys, in this, uh, I'm just thinking about just talking about this coronavirus thing happening around. And at first, before I even start with the coronavirus, oh my god, I've had among the worst, worst days in this week because my phone broke. <laughs> And after my phone broke, I couldn't make any video because I was like, I really love how my iPhone takes video. Like, I use my phone to make videos and I, I love doing it with phone. And I was like, my laptop, what is it going to do? But yeah, I'm using my laptop now. So if you see the quality is different, don't mind because... I'm buying and I'm gonna buy a new phone or fix it, whatever. But it's gonna change. Yeah, but I have to uh, check on my uh, subscribers and my fans, and just look uh, how we continuing with this coronavirus, and say one, two, three things about it. And number one, the thing that have annoyed me with this coronavirus thing is her uh, fake news. Okay, it's fake news because all I'm receiving is videos, fake videos, fake news, and all these things. And I'm like, oh my god, guys, you need to know between fake news and real news. Okay, like this this video that is going viral uh, is uh, I think an airport in Senegal, and people are falling down, dying. And people are sending me this video, and this video is fake news, guys. It's really fake news, okay? Just if you want to confirm real news, check proper websites like uh, what 
uh, health organization, check BBC, and if you're checking in Facebook, especially in Facebook, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fake news there. Make sure that the website has a blue tick. Means it's verified by Facebook that this is the official page. Okay? Because some people are saying, oh, yeah, I, I checked this news from BBC. And I'm like, which BBC? And now I see them saying, this is not a real website. Real website. BBC, CNN, whatever, news in your country or anything official page has a verified blue tick, meaning that's the official website. So guys, please avoid this fake news, eat garlic, drink vodka, or it's going to kill coronavirus. I mean, this virus, nobody knows how what it's going to heal. And if we know, we're going to hear it from CNN, BBC, or any of your country local official media uh whatever tv station or newspaper so guys just avoid fake news oh, stop and those people who are sending me also fake news stop it really i don't want to uh, keep on explaining this because i don't i think um in this level where we are in the digital level like people should be knowing fake news and real news really yeah and again uh, the update of coronavirus in Oman. Oh, oh oh guys here everything is locked from schools airports what can i say the only thing that is supposed to be open is a mall like a supermarket or whatever you call it where you can buy food and guys even the gyms are closed i mean guys we're gonna start getting fat because we are panic shopping we are eating panic eating <laughs> because you're eating maybe tomorrow you're not gonna be able to eat hey and then we are not exercising because the gyms are closed so this is uh, we're gonna get far like us housewives hmm. Like when the when this coronavirus ends and we start going to the gym, like oh we're gonna need instructors, woo woo woo, to lose some weight. <laughs> yeah, so guys, just keep it healthy. I, I, you can just exercise at home if you can. For me, I never exercise at home because those kind of movement that people do like this, like this, like this, I feel like they do not help me. I feel like I'm just wasting my time. But I know they work, and I know I don't want somebody to say oh I'm just looking down on these people who are doing this in social media no but for me i feel like it doesn't work because i can wait in weird places where it need either a six pack machine or yeah such type of machine but not doing this and this because i feel i'm kind of fit so yeah so yeah, for that uh the gyms are closed i mean guys one thing i realized and this i'm talking about kenya because kenya is my country like i checked and i saw like uh in the news and with people like in italy even i saw in uh which this country in senegal yeah that the children have closed school but they're still uh being taught by the teacher online they're doing like the online Skype thing. They've been, uh, the teacher is just checking on them and giving them homeworks as well in the email. And oh my God, this is not happening in Kenya. Like what did we do wrong? Like my small sister is doing her final high school exam this year. And she just sat at home with no help of the teacher, just there. I don't know because at this point, Kenya, I think, is a little bit developed in, in Africa, and I think it should be doing something about this. Hey, politicians, stop sleeping and eating people money there. <laughs> I will just kind of organize this type of things. If somebody has an internet home, they can be able to do these things. And also, like, sending homeworks in the email and the teacher marking and, you know, bringing the back the results i mean this is really good this is really, congratulations those countries that are doing this kenya hey so yeah 
I mean, I'm so pissed off of that. Here, the hospitals are closed. I mean, you're only gonna be treated if it's an emergency. Yeah, so it's that bad. I mean, I I was feeling like in other countries, oh, they're locking. I'm like, whoa, so whoa. But now it has hit here in Oman. I'm like, oh my god, now I feel them. I'm feeling them. Because even now, I, I cannot go shopping with my daughter like we used to go, do. My husband will have to do the grocery shopping alone. And I'm like, oh my god, how long am I going to be at home? Like, I'm so bored. Oh my god, this is really bad. And we just should pray and just hope the scientists also just find this cure. Because really, I really need to go out. I didn't need to go to that beach. I need, and guys, the worst thing that is my birthday. Oh, my birthday is coming, and all hotels are closed here. It's not even alcohol here in the base. Luckily, there's alcohol, so we're still gonna be high on the birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nobody can stop reggae. Whoo, <laughs> yeah, but elsewhere in the hotels here, they are closed and all that, so I don't think. I'm gonna be celebrating my birthday, but I will. I have something. I have something coming here. <laughs> something crazy in my YouTube channel on my birthday. I have to do something. Really, I do have to do something. Uh, but I'm not doing a party. I'm not celebrating. I'm just like it's my birthday. I'm getting old, so what? Because really, jumping another level with this coronavirus. You don't have coronavirus. You're healthy. My God, this is just a celebration. In my heart, I do not have to have a party, but I am so happy. Yeah, so hope guys will meet in the next video and hope everything is okay in your country regarding coronavirus. Love you guys. Bye.